upbeat music plays. Welcome back to Buy Smart, where we help you navigate the wild world of consumer products. Today, we're diving into the realm of mirrorless cameras. In the left corner, we have the Sony A7 III, the heavyweight champ of full-frame photography. And in the right corner, meet the Canon EOS R10. First up, we're talking image quality. The A7 III boasts a 24.2 megapixels full-frame sensor, giving you a dynamic range that can make even the most mundane subject look like a work of art. Reviewers rave about the A7-Tez sharp photos and its excellent performance in low-light conditions. Meanwhile, the R10 also features a 24.2 megapixels sensor, but it's APS-C. Many users have praised the R10 for its image quality, particularly for beginners, but it may not match the full-frame magic of the A7 III. Overall, the A7 III is considered superior in this category by serious photographers, while the R10 is a great choice for casual users. Now let's talk autofocus. The A7 III has 693 phase detection AF points, which is a standout feature that reviewers absolutely love. One user even compared it favorably to higher-end models like the Canon 5D. The R10 features subject detection technology, which is effective but doesn't quite reach the level of the A7 III. Users appreciate the R10's autofocus for everyday use, especially for capturing pets or action shots, but the A7 III shines in more demanding situations. Overall, the A7 III is seen as a powerhouse, while the R10 is recognized for its user-friendly approach. When it comes to continuous shooting, the A7 III can shoot up to 10 frames per second, which is impressive. Reviewers have noted its speed during action shots. On the other hand, the R10 can hit 15 FPS, making it a great choice for fast-paced photography. Users have enjoyed capturing quick moments with the R10, but the A7 NASA's performance is still highly regarded in professional circles. In this category, the R10 takes the lead for sheer speed, but the A7 III is no slouch either. Battery life is crucial. The A7 III uses the nitrogen monophosphide FZ100 battery, offering impressive longevity that many users appreciate, especially for long shoots. One reviewer even mentioned that it has enough juice to power a small village. The R10, however, runs on the LPE-17 battery, which has received mixed reviews. Some find it underwhelming for extended use. Overall, the A7 III is celebrated for its stamina, while the R10 is seen as needing improvement in this area. And let's not forget about price. The A7 III is priced at $1,899, which some users deem worth it for the quality and features it offers. On the flip side, the R10 is more budget-friendly at $1,379, making it a great option for those who want a solid camera without breaking the bank. Reviewers have highlighted the R10's affordability, especially for beginners looking to step up their photography game. The A7 III might appeal to serious enthusiasts willing to invest more for superior performance. In summary, the Sony A7 III is often praised for its outstanding image quality, advanced autofocus, and robust battery life, making it a favorite among serious photographers. However, some users have experienced issues with durability. On the other hand, the Canon EOS R10 is lauded for its user-friendly design, excellent ergonomics, and affordability, with many beginners finding it a perfect fit for their needs, despite some limitations in battery life and autofocus performance. So which camera wins the battle? If you're a serious photographer, the A7 III might be your ticket to fame. But if you want to capture life's moments without breaking the bank, 
the R10 is a fantastic choice. Let us know in the comments below which one you prefer and why. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more smart shopping tips. Until next time, keep buying smart and snapping those epic shots.